I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good afternoon, Whitney. We hope you guys are having a terrific Tuesday. I'm one of your new senior hosts, Ezra Morris Deacon. And I'm your other host, Sabrina Lota. Yep, and hey, wait a second. You aren't Athena Sarmiento. And you don't look like Yusuf. Well, I suppose you're right. Both of them did graduate last year, so I guess that means we're your new hosts for this year. Anyways, we have a ton of fun stuff in store for you guys. So we all hope that you guys are excited for another new season of Whitney High School Live. Yes, WHS Live is going to be broadcasting every Tuesday and Thursday, and we're going to be bringing back your favorite segments, such as teacher, teacher interviews, challenge chunks, and taste buds. Also, we will be streaming on Wednesdays in the future, so make sure to look out for that. Oh, yeah, Sabrina, have you met our new principal? Oh, uh, oh, Miss Stoffers, right? Yeah, that's right. Speaking of which, let's throw it over to Eva for an interview with Miss Stoffers. She's going to be telling us all about herself so that we can get to know her a little better. Take it away. Well, hello, my fabulous Whitney Wildcat. How are you today? Pretty good. And you? Good. I am fantastic because I am at the best high school in the entire state of California. First question is, what's your favorite color? Well, my favorite color, you know what, that's really hard because I have such a range, but I do love teal. Mm. I love all kinds of shades of blue. So what was the most surprising thing about Whitney when you first arrived? You know, I was, um, I don't know if I was surprised, but I really felt just so welcomed by the staff and the students and the parent community. Um, I love just how welcoming everybody's been. And um, it's made me feel like I've been a part of the family even before I got here. Do you have a favorite childhood memory? Um, my favorite childhood memory. I think that um, as a kid, I have to admit, I really loved um, playing sports. Mm -hmm. So through my childhood, I played volleyball and basketball and I loved riding my bike. And um, I know you guys have rollerblades, but I actually had roller skates. Oh. So that was a big, a big thrill for me on the weekends. I would go to a place called Venice Beach and uh, ride my roller skates with my parents. Okay, that leads us to our second question. So yes. I was going to ask you where do you go to college, yeah. but I guess that answers. I'm um, getting my doctorate at USC. This is a kind of off topic, but if you could eat anything for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh my gosh, probably strawberries. Oh. <laughs> I answered that a little too quick. Like, I love strawberries. Uh, what is your message for the new students at Whitney this year? For the new students here at Whitney, um, I'm excited that we are back in person. I'm excited that as a society we're moving kind of past COVID. I know it's not totally gone, but things are better. And I'm just glad that we're back in the building because I think the most important thing about, you know, going through this certain um, time in our lives is really about being social and connecting with people. And that's really hard when you're supposed to be isolating. So I'm really glad that we're able to do that. And, you know, we just want to provide an environment where students are challenged, we're getting you ready for college, but we're also looking out for you and making sure that you feel included and home here at Whitney. So what do you hope to bring to Whitney? So I hope to bring to Whitney a feeling of inclusivity for all of our students, no matter their background, what they look like, what they believe. I want everyone to feel good about being here, feel safe, feel included. 
Um, and I also want to make sure that we are preparing them for what's beyond because we as students here are going out and you guys are going to be the future of our society and for our society to make others feel included you have to have experienced that as well so i want to make sure that you leave here knowing that you're always a part of whitney um, that everyone here is celebrated everyone here matters and we want you to go out and do great things Alrighty, thank you so much for answering our questions thank you, thank you. have a good rest of your day okay i will go wild <laughs> Thank you so much, Eva and Ms. Stoffers, for that wonderful interview. Hey, you know Ms. Stoffers isn't the only new faculty on campus. Oh, really? Oh, oh, you're right. I think Miguel has a game set up for us between our new econ teacher, Mr. Ryan, and our new vice principal, Dr. Jane. Hello Whitney students! Welcome to Whitney High School Game Show Trivia. So as you may have noticed this school year, there are some new and unfamiliar faces, especially in faculty, and I actually have two of them here today, Dr. Chang and Mr. Ryan. So uh, thank you for joining. Please give a brief description of who you are and what you do around here. You can just start. All right. Um, hello everybody, I am Dr. Chang. I'm the assistant principal here, and I've been here for almost two and a half weeks now, I would say. So I am just excited to be here with all you Wildcats. Thank you, and Mr. Ryan. Hi, I'm Mr. Ryan. I teach seventh grade world history, eighth grade United States history, and 12th grade economics. Um, super stoked to be here, and I am the new teacher. But yeah, go Wildcats. Great, so let's get right into the questions. Um, number one, oh, when you know the answer, press the button. Uh, who is Whitney named after? Boom! Oh. Mr. Ryan, go ahead. <laughs> Gretchen, Whitney. Correct, one point for Mr. Ryan. Boom. Uh, it didn't make noise. Number two, okay. what is the name of our cafeteria? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Mr. Ryan, go ahead. The Hutch. Correct, two points for Mr. Ryan in the lead. Oh. And now, finish the lyrics to this Whitney alma mater. Strive for nothing but the best, for here we'll surely find memories to last a lifetime. Friendship. Friendship, family. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Mr. Ryan, go ahead. Family, man. It's all about no. family. Friendships that will last uh, no. Okay, so none of you got that one. It was Hail to Whitney High. Oh, Hail yeah. to Whitney High. Uh, so, oh, okay. next question. What color were the previous lockers that Whitney had? Orange. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> one point for Dr. Chen. Uh -oh. Uh, oh, boy. Next question. How many clubs are there at Whitney? 30, 37, or 42? 37. Correct. Boom! Oh! Oh! Now for some hard questions. Uh, name everyone in the English department in under 10 seconds. Go. Mr. Ryan. After you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dr. Chang, go ahead. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I think, um, One is Hunter. Hunter. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Your time is up. Okay. No points for either of you. All right, all right. Name everyone in the foreign language department in under 10 seconds. Okay. Either, either one of you can go. Sarah, we'll, we'll say it together. For hard kids. Okay. Uh, Wu. Wu. Uh, Suzuki. Suzuki. And there's one more. None of you got the point. Oh, oh man. Uh, we are not working together. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. uh, last question. Winner take all. How long are periods today? Mr. Ryan, go ahead. 55. No. Man. Dr. Chen, go ahead. No. Oh. Uh, that wow. That's the end of Whitney trivia. But wow. Mr. Ryan, you are the winner. Oh. Boom. Yeah, thank you. Back to you, Hope. Good game. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Ryan and Dr. Chang, for participating. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ezra, what do you think about our new seventh graders? Oh, um, in my opinion, I think they're kind of cool. It's just that I noticed they like running to the lunch lines like a lot. I mean, it looks like a marathon out there. Yeah, you're definitely right. Uh, Miss Susan and Miguel want to go s interview some students to check out why our lunch lines are so long. Take it away. 12.59 p.m. Tuesday through Thursday. A shift in the atmosphere occurs. The wild wildcats come out to play. Drooling at the mouth for food, they enter sprinting. Today, we will enter their minds. Hello. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Akarshan. Uh, did you run here? No, I sped a walk here. Okay. Do you condone running to the lunch line? 
No. Uh, what do you think about people that sprint to the sunshine? They're sweats, and I am a sweat, kind of. I mean, we want food, so... That's true. How do you feel about the hutch line? Um, we're trying to get more staffing in there, so it could uh, go through pretty fast. It's right. gotten better, but we can do better. Uh, apple juice or milk? Um, depends. It's better, Olive Garden salad or hutch salad? I never had Olive Garden. <laughs> Yeah, there's a camera. Yeah. Uh, what are you getting from the hutch today? Orange chicken. Uh, orange chicken. Hi. Did you cut the lunch line today? No. How are you doing? Good. How does it feel being at the end of the line? Um, I don't know. Oh, okay. Why didn't you cut? Because I'm a good person. Did you cut this lunch line? Yes. Did you? No. Did you? No. She didn't cut either, she destroyed us. I just, Ooh. they're my friends, so I have Hello, to... Hello, guys. Did you cut this on time? Nope. Waited till, waited till the end. Good job. Did you? Maybe. Uh, how do you feel about the shorter lunch time? Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, um, it was better before. <laughs> oh, the shorter lunch time, not enough time to eat my adobo. That's Filipino pork stew for you. Good, how are you? Apple, good. <laughs> Apple juice or milk today? Milk? Uh, I'll have to go with milk. Did you run to the sunshine? Uh, yes, I did run to the sun sunshine. Nope, I did it. I'm just kidding, I did Okay, why? Because I'm hungry. As you can see, these wildcats are very wild for their lunch. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much um, to Susan and Miguel. And to end off our first show, we're going to be having a few announcements. Our debate club competes in special debate clubs or debate events across the nation. And they're going to be fundraising with chocolate until September 27th. So if you're into caramel, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, wafer, or wafer crisp, make sure to look out for a debate club cabinet member and get a bar for a dollar each. <laughs> Again, the Big Club's fundraiser will last until September 27th, so make sure to get your chocolates now before it's too late. Also, another thing that you guys might want to check out is our virtual college night on Wednesday, September 28th, 5.50 to 8 p.m. This is free to all senior students and parents. Also, Yearbook has a, their early bird release until December 31st, so find the link in their Instagram bio or this link right here to get a yearbook for only $85. Oh, and one more thing. Dance Club will be performing in the quad during lunch tomorrow for Club Rush. Yep, and I think that's it for our first broadcast. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Uh, oh my gosh, uh, we forgot to do an outro. Oh shoot, I don't know how to do outros. Uh, uh okay. Outro! outro! <laughs>